Yeah, I'm up. I'm up. What's uh, what's going on? Tell them it's too late. Can you not do this? This is weird. We must die so they do not live. Alright, I'm done. Fucking time traveling robots and apocalyptic plagues. This is the address of a lab my Uncle Frank used to use. You guys go nuts. Swat that shit. I'm, I've had it. So anyway, I gotta talk about Monolith. I'm really glad that they pulled it out by the year 2000. Lift Tech 1.0, their first foray into 3D, their Quake Killer. It didn't go so well. I'm gonna try not to talk about Blood 2, because today we're doing Shogo Mobile Armor Division. Made on the same engine and sharing some of the same problems. Don't click away. Do not click away. Even though Shogo came out first, it's way better. It's not what I would call good, but it's a step in the right direction. Shogo might share graphics, sounds, effects, and music with Blood 2, but that's only because Blood 2 was patched up with Shogo assets and shoved out the door. You would have done it too, don't lie. This is one of those games where some people like it, some people don't. It's not like Blood 2 where it's just a piece of shit and it's a mess. I mean, it is a mess, but... It has its fans. Shogo is about mechs, guns, and Japanophilia. I don't watch the anime myself. The box art here, very stylized to be b Oh man, you guys, uh... Okay, if you're gonna play this on modern systems, it's not quite as easy to get running as Blood 2. You get weird performance issues if you don't use a wrapper like DG Voodoo 2. And no matter what, I always get this mouse cursor in the center of the screen sometimes. I don't want to dwell on that stuff, it's not a criticism. It's not like they knew that Windows would become a fucking tablet OS. You guys are gonna get the story of Shogo just like I am. Fuck the manual. We need the opening text, it's good, it explains everything. I've lost too much to this war. My brother, Toshiro. Kura, the woman I loved. Baku, my childhood friend. I can't bring them back, but I can avenge them. Every rebel CMC soldier and fanatical fallen terrorist I wipe off the face of Cronus brings me a little closer to peace. That, and Catherine. Kura's sister who I've been dating for the past several months, it's kind of complicated. No, that's very simple, it's just weird. A UCA reconnaissance mission in the abandoned city of Avernus has gone disastrously awry. Enemy forces have come swarming out of the access tunnels, and fallen dropships have deposited MCA squads in the path of your retreat. Are you worried about these guys invading? Why don't you put a wall of text in front of them? Recon 4, fall back to drop point Renegade for immediate evac. We're picking up fallen reinforcements approaching from the southeast. Get your team clear ASAP, over. All right, let's move. The whole area is going to be slag in about two minutes. They can't wait long, so be on time for once in your life. Be nice. Oh man, that sucks. You got stuck with the evil sister. Okay, so mech combat. I'm just gonna say it. This is not at all what I would expect out of a mech combat game, because you still move like a 90s FPS game, except like everything is comically small. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of love it. Look at the cute little cars. Look at the little people you can jib into what looks like hundreds of gallons of blood. Back aboard the UCASF flagship Leviathan, you and Catherine find a few precious moments of peace before you prepare for the mission ahead. I'm guessing the objectives for this one are to take a live sister to Pound Town in space and reflect on... Oh no, no! <laughs> oh, his fucking face! His torso is disconnected like it's growing out of his belt! I know what they're going for, but... No! Fucking roll! Commander, make sure to stop by regional diagnostics. You can access the database for background information on your mission. Oh, hey, Gideon. Yes, sir. Yeah, you pick up your ID, you've already got two pistols, and we're ready for action. Yeah, the game makes that noise whenever an enemy is alerted to your presence. Every time. Hey, buddy, watch where you're going. Ah! You hear me? I'll kill that These dual pistols aren't bad. They're outclassed by the assault rifle, which I get immediately after killing these guys here. These guards show me how the critical hit system works. It seems random to me when you get a critical hit. A purple light happens, and then you get some health back. That's actually really useful. It would be really cool if I could control when it happens. Unlike Blood 2, this game has weapon reloading. You're not told how much you have in the magazine. It's 60 in the assault rifle. All these guys drop ammo, so I don't really have a problem with that. So far, this ain't bad. Let's get our mission briefing. The importance of Kato derives from its reaction to high temperatures. 
When burned, Cato passes through several stages of recomposition before losing its volatility. Each of these stages produces an impressive amount of energy. But it's what happens at the subatomic level. Yep, boring. The first Romulan colony, Avernus, was founded in the year 50... ...and became the new capital. The sweet military rise of the fallen on Cronus is attributed to the leadership of a man known only as Gabriel. Following the death of Ivan Isakovich, nearly a third of its soldiers declaring loyalty to Gabriel and the Fallen. Cronus, a semi-hostile terrestrial Class K planet, is only partially suitable for human colonization. Hey, Monolith, all this writing and backstory and shit for your game is really cool and I appreciate the effort you put into it. That being said... Oh, this Fuck this, I got a train to catch. I guess it doesn't let me on the train on account of the fact that I killed all those people. Or maybe it doesn't let me on unless I kill everybody. Fine, we'll do it your way. Hey, sweetie. You're wanted at MCA Doc S. Don't forget your ID. I think I saw it on the nightstand. Thanks, Catherine. Reporting for duty, sir. Good, you're here. I'll get to the point. Your mission is to find and eliminate Gabriel at all costs. If Gabriel is allowed to continue, the Fallen will destroy the CMC and gain control of Kronos. If this happens, the flow of Cato throughout our system will cease. This cannot and will not happen. I'll see to that myself if I have to. You also get a shotgun that looks like a derpy version of the one from Fear. It's cool, very nice. I guess because I killed the Admiral, it's not letting me pick a mech. So I reload and pick the one with the most combat durability? You ain't fooling me again, Monolith. This damage system is fucking weird and I'm not taking any chances. There's a whole different weapon set for the on-foot levels and the mech levels. In the mech, you get a pulse rifle, which is okay, I guess. It's good for catching the tiny soldiers with splash damage. And you get the laser cannon, which is exactly the same as Blood 2's death ray. I already know to stay far, far away from explosions in this game. Who the hell do you think you are busting in here? I'm gonna kick your ass! Oh shit, a voice character is attacking me. That's, uh... That's gotta be important. Let me use this gun, the Juggernaut, which is Blood 2's howitzer. The anger. Except it works in this game. Not like my AI companions who are stuck in a loop here. Nah, it's fine. I don't need you guys. I got this. You get to the walls of this city and your best bet in combat is to just unload as fast as possible on the enemy. And this is... Okay, this is really giving me some Blood 2 flashbacks now. You pick up a rocket launcher that shoots four rockets in a volley. It's kind of cool, but still, instant hits are much, much better. There's a vehicle mode for the mech too, but I never used it. It goes a little faster. You make it into the city. You should be able to track Gabriel down there. Mind if I do a little window shopping first? Very funny. You got company coming, hotshot. Who the hell is this? A friend of a friend. Hank Johnson's the name. Oh yeah, Hank Johnson. The man with the name of a porn star and the face of a dwarf warrior. Who the hell is this? A friend of a friend. Hank Johnson's the name. Which friend would that be? A good one. I can't really stop shooting to listen to you, man. I got tanks to destroy. These cars that are all still here after that earthquake and all that, they explode. They usually have armor or health in them. Just don't stand too close. Your mech weapons are pretty much all given to you in this part of the game. Pulse rifle, laser cannon, rockets, sniper rifle that zooms in and acts like a machine gun. But since this game doesn't have a secondary fire button, you gotta hit the number key again to get that zoom. The Shredder is like a rapid-fire version of the Juggernaut. And your Spider Launcher, which launches a mine, which is fine, I guess. But when the enemies have it, it sucks. You get a double jump in your mech, which isn't like a double jump in other games. It's a high jump. It's not double tapping jump. It has a separate button. Yeah, okay, fine. Ever hear of Uziel? No. That's Gabriel's right-hand man. The bastard's close by, so, uh, be careful. Sandro, what's going on? Catherine? Get out of there, 
Sanjuro. It's a friggin' trap! What the? Stop, stop. This is some classic Lithtech 1.0 shit right here. Guy appears out of nowhere holding the biggest gun I've ever seen that's so big it clips into the walls of the tunnel. Fucking roll! Sanjuro? I know you. Who are you? Get out of here. I won't spare you next time. He's running away! Excellent. That phone bastards are jamming your comm signal. How you talking to me then, Hank? Is it dwarf magic? You gotta shut down their interference array. Go back out the way you came in, but watch out for fallen reinforcements. There you are. Prepare to die, maggot. You again? Oh, hey, Sam. What up, girl? All these tunnels and areas that are clearly designed for giant mechs and not for people, like ventilation shafts that mechs can go through, I'm confused by this, I'm not gonna lie. And since there's no use key in this game, you walk up to stuff and bump it to activate, like these touchpads that activate elevators that can only be activated by giant mechs on the touchpad, um... Alright, listen up. There's two main ventilation shafts, A and B, and four secondary shafts, one through four. You have to reverse the airflow in shaft B so you can ride the wind current to the upper level. Right now, it's sucking air into the filters. <laughs> you jump into it now and them fans will chew you up good. Yeah, but that's not what kills me. The heat system kills me. I didn't even notice it at first. I just thought I was randomly dying because it's a lift tech game. Once that's done, it's time for a real honest-to-god on-foot section. This knife is good for breaking open crates and getting a silenced machine gun. I'm not even trying because I'm gonna say it's an Uzi and it's probably a Mac-10, and then I'm gonna say it's a Mac-10, and then some fucking gun pedant is gonna go and say, No, Civvy, it's a Mac-11! The on-foot combat is a complete mess. There's a way to play it, but outside of your mech and inside of your mech for that matter, any direct fire will kill you pretty quickly. This is best explained with the shotgun. Enemies with shotguns can one-hit you at full health. And you can one-hit an enemy with a shotgun. But you don't want to. During the time when you're racking another shell into the shotgun, you'll die. Because any time you're not firing, you're getting shot. You're forced to stunlock enemies to stay alive, meaning you can't use the shotgun or any weapon that isn't automatic. When a game has a bad shotgun, that pisses me off. But when a game has a good shotgun and I can't use it... Roll! Roll! Shit! Oh, that's real cute. Cultist speak. Cool. Your silenced Mac fuck off works, but the magazine only holds 30 and you have to reload during which you get shot. So you should use your machine gun because stealth doesn't matter. Stealth doesn't matter. Hank Johnson gets a rocket launcher. Stealth doesn't matter. Break down some punks. Now that I think about it, I rarely ever use the rocket launcher because explosions are death, and this isn't rapid fire, so not firing a rocket is death. Again, a rocket launcher is way more useful when the enemy has it. Now, I'm not mad, I just have to quick save after every encounter. Hello, Sanjuro. Who is this? This is a secure line. How, how did... It's good to hear your voice again. Kura? Good guess. I thought you were dead. I need to talk with you face to face. It's about Toshiro and Baku. You find out that your dead girlfriend is alive, and the possibility of a threesome with a little incest is on your mind, you know? No, man, I don't judge. Anime is for degenerates. Oh, thank fuck, I was so hoping I'd get zero health sometime during this. That's fucking raw! Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me! Well, I can't help it, there's no use key and I gotta bump that console, so... Alright, what now? So the map gets repopulated with enemies and I walk into a door and get shotgunned, and so the map gets repopulated with enemies and so I walk into a door and get shotgunned, and we're not just gonna sit there and let our formerly dead girlfriend rot. We're gonna team up with Hank Johnson, who can go fuck himself. No way, I know how this goes, escorting some unarmored dipshit through a level. No, I'll go first, thank you. Ah! 
God damn it, Hank! We gotta get inside this place and get you a new MCA. There should be only a couple of guards on duty. Cover me while I override the security system. And you need to cover Hank, because he's got a shotgun, and so he's open to attack. Sure is a lot of mother- I need to exercise. Mission failure. Don't hurt me! Back in the mech, it's more of what you already done, really. Jumping around the city, you get to the train station and Cora leaves you behind. You get an energy grenade launcher, which is kind of useful for shooting around corners. I'm supposed to meet up with Cora, but there's a big gate in the way. There's a big gate in the way. All right, head down the stairs to the right of the gate. There's an open air market that will lead you to a hotel. Look for the tunnel out in front. The next section of the game, and most of the on-foot sections from now on, are basically strafing dudes with a machine gun and quick-loading every time you round a corner and there happens to be some deadly accurate asshole with a shotgun there. I forgot, your machine gun zooms? It's the only one of your guns that zooms. It doesn't have a scope on it, I don't think. Uh, and when it's zoomed, it does a three-round burst, so fuck that. Okay, somebody needs to explain to me why the doors in this game work this way. Because the swinging doors are not right. They're not right. Excuse me, ma'am. You control that electrical fence? As a matter of fact, yes. Okay, but why? Could you turn it off for me? Tell you what. I'll turn off the electricity if, you, if you'll find my kitty. She ran off. Fuck off. Are you kidding? Is this fucking real? Find your kitty? I'm sure you can't get away with murdering this woman, so let's reload and deal with this. Your kitty? She likes to hide in the building by the, the, the pumping station. She'll only come to you if you have her toy, so you'll have to find it first. It's probably somewhere in the building. This seems like a good use of my time. As far as I know, this is the only optional side quest in the game. So I go in and I find that cat. Sorry, no time for pussy. So I go in and I find the cat toy. Oh boy, we get to talk about Captain Claw! Captain Claw is a 1997 monolith game where Stefan Waite voices a pirate cat. Chew on that. It's pretty neat, actually. It's a lot less adult than your normal monolith game. It's very smoothly animated. I think I'll do a video on it if I ever beat it, because it's exactly as fucking hard as monolith platformer would imply. The reward you get for this mission is a pussy-eating joke. Should I even ask? Just ran into some stragglers that were trying to eat a cat. Can you say that again slowly? Pervert. I'm having trouble picturing it. Maybe you could demonstrate. Maybe? You must have amnesia. Yeah, you carry this around for the rest of the game and it damages enemies. It doesn't kill them, I don't think. But I only tried it however many times this is. Sanjuro! What's happening? The CNC, they're all over the place. Listen to me. Toshiro is Gabriel, but there's more to it than that. Kofinyo... Kura! Kura's in trouble somehow. The CMC must have figured out where you were headed. She won't be able to hold them off for long. The thought of coming this close and then losing her again is too much to bear. You almost forget that you're still dating her sister. This love triangle doesn't matter. Don't even worry about it. Cothineal, though, is important. Hank, what's Cothineal? Cothineal is the reason the Fallen exists. Uh, Kura can explain everything. Oh, thanks. If you can't follow the story, that's not the anime influences. It's just that a ton of stuff was cut out because they were trying to make this huge, amazing game and didn't have time. This one wasn't GT's fault. And I feel like I have to say that Monolith knows how to design a game. They're not fuck-ups. This is exactly the kind of game you get when talented people polish up an unfinished product. Look, I respect this game, but I don't enjoy playing it. Ryo Ishikawa contacted me. From Shogo? Yeah, he's using me for something. Not quite sure what it is yet, but I'll figure it out. Yes. More characters, please. 
I've heard about you, Rio. You're not a man to be trusted. The press bends the truth to suit its own agenda. You should know that better than anyone. I just wanted to apologize for how I reacted when I heard Kuro was alive. I love my sister as much as you do. I'm just... It's okay. I understand. Good, because I don't. Okay, breaking Kura out of jail. This Rio guy from Shogo is letting us walk around without triggering security, and that... That is a kid. That's a little girl. In a video game, that's weird. May I help you? I'm um, fine, thanks. Carry on. Keep it in your pants, pal. Fucking excuse me? Okay, I've disabled the security matrix. Thanks for your assistance, Commander. You're no longer useful to me. So this dude you met at the beginning of the mission betrays you in the middle of the mission, but it's okay, you keep going, it's... Oh, fuck it. Okay, here we go, a new weapon. If by new weapon you mean reskin of the other grenade launcher that shoots... Oh, why? Do I even need to explain why this is bad? Can you guys not see it? Am I talking to nobody? I got a question. How the fuck have I gained like 15,000 subs when everybody up there is dying? Is this news now? That's cool. How am I gonna open this wall? Is there just glass that I can shoot? Oh cool, it's the explosive kind of glass that only appears in this one part of the game. No, that's fine. That's fine. Fucking bullshit. Kura! I knew you'd come. Yeah, but I'm not happy about it. I'm kind of done with this game. You know, I would have put it down already, but... It's good to see you again. We're all Are you okay? Die. Yeah, I'm fine. Why don't didn't anyone me. tell me you were don't alive? Kill me, don't they kill couldn't. Me. I've been working undercover. My father assigned me to learn everything I could about the Fallen. What about Gabriel? Where is he? It's not so much where he is, but who he is and don't what he's fighting me, for. It's much bigger than you could ever possibly imagine. Oh, they gave Kura a shotgun too. Brilliant. Awesome. Kill me. <laughs> Yeah? Whoa, 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 no, do not shoot at the kid, come on! I told you that Toshiro is Gabriel? Well, that's only partly true. Does this have anything to do with Cathineal? Cathineal's a life form so vast that people have been looking at it for 200 years without recognizing what it was. It stretches for hundreds of kilometers under the surface of Cronus. So Toshiro me, is alive, me, and I'm assuming me. Baku is Uziel. Baku's insane. I don't know what he's become, but he's dangerous. What now? I need to convince my father about Cathineal. He thinks Toshiro is a traitor. Meet me at the Oshi Research Station in Avernus. Kura! Yeah? It's good to see you. Are you seeing anybody? Wait, what is this shit? We get dialogue choices now? Let's go with, yeah, I'm banging your sister. Actually, I've been dating your sister. I'm not angry about Catherine. Well, I am angry, but I'm not going to kill you. Okay, that's nice of you. Hey, how about you were fucking dead? Oh boy, we get to do a train level. Don't worry, it's way better than the Blood 2 train levels. If you're not used to going from 100 health to nothing in a split second, you're not playing right. That's cool, it gives me a chance to explore the other dialogue option. Are you seeing anybody? Uh, why do you ask? Totally worth it. So did you and Cora have a chance to catch up on old times? 
Th this isn't the time, Catherine. Just because I've sworn off violence doesn't mean I won't cock open your head, mister. That's exactly what that means. Fuck you. You're crazy. Your sister's crazy and she tried to kill a little girl and she killed me like five times. And all you MCA bitches are cray cray and I'm not into it. All these characters do is bitch at me and shoot me and tell me that I don't eat pussy good. And then there's this asshole. Well, hello. Looks like I've got the advantage this time. Fuck you. So Hank Johnson dies. Too late, Commander. Say goodbye. Don't do it, Rio. Ah! You're a oh, dead no. man, Rio! Rio runs out the door and literally disappears. Fucking roll! Sanjiro is really unhappy about Hank dying, even though he's only known him for like a day. <laughs> Hank's dead. I'm sorry, Sanjiro. Rio's gonna die and it's gonna be bloody. So what now? You have any ideas? Yeah, but... This is as far as you go, Sanjuro. Please, Baku, I need to talk to Gabriel. I don't think so. Ah, ah, ah. We'll finish this later. I can't take his big gun and I don't even know what it does. You cannot hope to defeat us, Commander. Toshiro, you're in danger. No, brother. You are in danger. More than you can imagine. You don't understand. I have to talk to you. Very well. I will meet you in the History of Warfare Museum in Avernus. Okay, you know what my real problem is here with this game? It's not just that the cutscenes are boring. It's that the game's difficulty in the game itself, this right here, this is the first on foot level, and it's basically the same as the last on foot level. The first mech level is the same as the last mech level. And I'm not even talking about how they reuse that city level like five times. There's no progression. The whole thing is one long, flat line. It's not raw, it's fucking dead. You must choose your path, Sanjuro. We will offer a bargain. Swear allegiance to us and your brother will be spared, providing that you can prevent your admiral from destroying Avernus. If you choose to pursue your mission, you will learn the true power of Gabriel. I don't care. I don't. And I don't trust anybody who demands that I pledge allegiance to them, so, nah, second of two dialogue choices in this game can fuck off. I know there's another ending if you take the other dialogue choice, but I didn't play it. To hell with your bargain. You took Toshiro from me, and I plan to take him back. Then you will die. Oh, where are you going? I was gonna pour some drinks and tear you a new asshole. It became clear to me as soon as I left this museum that this was the wrong move. See, you enter the museum through this docking bay that your armor uses, but then you exit, you're on the side of the building, and you die almost instantly. No, that's fine. That's good game design right there. F fuck you. You survive that by sheer luck and end up taking elevators up to the rooftops and jumping in on the vents that blow you around, and... Do you guys hear that? Do you guys hear that? That's staying alive, right? You guys, that's not my imagination. I mean, we'll know when YouTube claims it. Once you exit the city, you can get into the snow areas that are not really indicative of this skybox here that's... There's one more weapon you get, the Red Riot. It's a nuke on a stick. It's great, really. In the hands of the enemy. So immediately after this weapon is introduced, there's two mech-suited motherfuckers in this fortress aiming it at you. In fact, Katie, put a death reel in. I think I found it.
I'm getting close, I can feel it. I'm worried. I'll be okay, I hope. That's not a very nice thing to say. Catherine, I really need to concentrate right now. Fine, get yourself killed. See if I care. This time we end it. You are an angry, angry man. Hey look, it's Mr. Big Gun. When it says the battle ahead of you will not be easily won, that is a bald-faced fucking lie. Shoko dropships are approaching from the southeast. It's a trap! Great. Welcome, brother. Let us embrace. You cannot win. We'll see about that. So he's got a big sword. It'll kill you in about two hits. Avoiding him's easy. He has no ranged attacks. You gotta shoot the Cathinian thing in the eye, and then it lowers his shield and you can shoot him. To be fair, it is a big sword. So then he falls through the floor, and Ryu shows up. That's gotta hurt. Toshiro, are you all right? I... I think so. Wait, where are you? Where we go, We've got the Shogo fleet on the run. How is Toshiro? Okay, I guess. I mean, uh, for a guy who spent the last year as a sock puppet. And how about you, my love? Me? Well, let me sleep on it for about a week, then ask me again. Good work, Commander. Mission accomplished. I look forward to debriefing you. Watch it, you little hussy! Weakening Cathinial freed your brother from Cathinial's influence, but the tremendous strain of his long psychic imprisonment has taken its toll. His demeanor has always been- <laughs>